session. So today, I am going to cook for you one of my favorite pasta dishes, which is carbonara. So, this is going to be a simple but delicious pasta dish. Okay? So, without further ado, here are the ingredients. The ingredients. So, we have here garlic, onion, and then we have pepper. Okay? Thanks pala sa sister ko. Okay, binigyan niya ko ng ganito. Okay, this is a um, pepper miller. And then, century tuna. Bikini man. Okay? So, actually, tuna pasta po yung uh, lulutuin ko po. Okay? And then, this time, we have the Nestle cream. Okay? So, we have salt. And then, we have the chicken powder. Actually, ang chicken powder, um, it can be used to any type of dish. It can also be used for carbonara. So, it adds the flavor to your dish. Mas sumasara pa siya lalo. And then, I have here um, olives, sliced black olives. I really like the uh, black olives. It adds the taste. Okay, pero pag mag-keep kayo ng ganito, guys, make it sure na if your fridge niyo lang siya para matagal siyang masira. And then, I have here a canola oil. Of course, scissors. Okay, and then here is the pasta. So, pan, ganito yung mukha ng pan ko kasi dito po ako nag-boil ng um, nagkakulo ng pasta kanina. Okay, so, these are the ingredients. Actually, this is just a simple dish. Okay, um, for pasta dish, hindi mo naman kailangan na na bumili talaga ng mga mamahalin ng mga ingredients. Whatever is available at home, yun lang. Okay? Pero if you want to elevate more your dish, then it's okay. Diba? So, and then I will add cheese later. Hindi ko po siya nakuha. Diba? So, ito po yung ating mga ingredients. So, mag-start na po tayo sa ating ating video. Ayan, kumainit na natin Onion. Okay. And so, inuulang ko po yung onion, guys. Kasi, um, since I am cooking pasta, I don't wanna let the sauce na maglalasa siya ng medyo mapaed. Okay? Kasi magaling yung masunod po yung garlic. So, this is the technique of the thing. Ayan. Then, followed by garlic. Ayan. Ayan. Okay? So, ipa-caramelize lang natin ng ponte yung ating garlic. So, ito lang. Very simple. Okay? Then, next, we will open the can for our tuna. Ayan. So, for one, so easy open tuna. So, ilalagay na natin ang ating tuna. Ayan na. Okay. Ayan na. Actually, um, niluto ko na yung pasta kanina para madali na lang. Okay? And, kung gusto mo nang madalian, like for example, um, you have visitors at home, kinagabihan, you can cook the pasta na. Basta ilagay nyo lang po sa left. So, this one is a linguine pasta po, yung ginamit. Ayan. Ayan. Okay? So, ito mo. Medyo luto na po ang ating tuna and nagda-dry na po yung sabaw niya. So, I think it's right time to add our Nestle cream. Ayan. Nestle cream, the kid man. So, lang talaga siya. Okay? Ubus 
tape. Just see where this one. Okay, pag nagliluto po kayo ng sauce for the carbonara, hinaan nyo lang po yung apoy para hindi po masunod yung cream niya or milk. Kasi pag ganito, madali lang po nang susunod yung sauce niya. And make it sure to make it hollow. Okay, dahil may laman pa. Yes, ginagawa natin, nilalagyan po natin ng konting tubay. Ayan, so nilagyan po siya ng konting water. Okay. Parang hindi masasayang guys, mga mom sheets, mga backy sheets. Hmm. Okay. Ayan. So, sisimmer lang natin ng konti ko. Okay. And before po kayo mag-season, guys, tikman mo muna po yung sauce para you can uh, determine if how much of the amount of seasoning that you are going to put into the sauce. Okay, tikman natin. Hmm. Okay, so medyo matabang siya. Ang konti. We're going to uh, pinch of salt. Ayan. Pinch of salt. Konti lang. Okay. In cooking, hindi yung dire-diretsyo magsisisong kaagad. Para Tansya-tansya na lang after pag may kuna. Okay? Konti-konti lang. And then, this time, I'm going to put a chicken powder. Okay? So, ayan na. So, low heat lang po tayo, mga guys. Para, so tama na po yung lasa niya. And this time, we're going to to put a little bit of oregano. Pwede namang wala. Okay, this one. Gusto ko lang may konting kick yung lasa. You know what, guys? Uh, mga kabeshis and mga mamshis, don't be afraid to, to use herbs that you're not familiar with. As long as you don't overpower the dish. So, ito mura lang po to. Okay? And then... We're gonna season it with pepper. Yeah. Something pepper lang. Okay. Yeah. Thank you to my sister for this. Yeah. Ito po yung gift niya sa akin last December. Okay. So okay na yan. Then. Yeah. Okay, so let's taste. Yeah. Hmm. Sarap. Okay. So we are almost done of our sauce. So we're gonna add now. This is a linguine pasta. So, i-add na po natin, guys, ang ating pasta. Maliit ng puto. Actually, wag po kayong mag-worry kasi hindi po mahal to. Mura lang po to. I think, um, this dish, good for four persons, um, this is only 110. Dapat na po ang makakakain nito. Ayan, instead of buying outside, why not cooking it at home? Diba? Okay. So, napaka-clean ng ating maragay po tayo ng mga black olives. So, 
So, this time, maglalagay na po tayo ng black olives. Ayan. So, ganito po siya. So, actually, yung black olive has its own flavor. Ayan. Huwag marami. Tama siya. Ayan. Okay. So, we are done. Ayan na. So, huwag naman natin po siya i-overcook. Kasi we don't want the sauce na magda-dry. And so, I think this is good na. So, we are going to plate this one. Ayan na. So, pang finale na po. Okay. So, let's do the plating. Ayan. So, napaka-creamy niya. Pwede namang walang cheese. But if you're a cheese lover, you can add more. And more cheese pa. Ayan. So, kahit anong cheese po, it's okay. Oregano for color. Okay na ang ating tuna carbonara. Ang linguini carbonara. There you have it mga kamashis and mga beshis. And I am done of my tuna linguine pasta. Ayan! Okay? So, don't be afraid to explore and innovate when cooking. You can use different kinds of ingredients as long as it's available at home or sa mga stores na binibilhan po ninyo ng mga ingredients. Always remember that whenever you are cooking, always put your heart into it. So stay healthy and keep safe everyone! Bye-bye!